look at this beach front with swimming pool and the beach is just here welcome back to another video I'm still exploring Kamala Beach Phuket Thailand and we just inquired about um, reserving a room here which is really obnoxious because we already booked another place but you know we can't really resist the temptation of beachfront hotel or resort and it's very windy but hopefully you can still hear me and this is one of the options that we're exploring look at this beachfront with swimming pool and the beach is just here Kamala Beach even though it's not the cleanest beach that you'll find in Phuket, Thailand but it is definitely worth um, the hundred bucks per night or a little bit more which is still rather cheap not that expensive and this one is currently called it's really hard for me to read I'm sure you can pronounce it better than me so I'm not gonna even try to attempt I'm pronouncing it because I'll not do a good job so let's head up the bridge hello oh we have the um, it's really hard for me to know the names of stuff like that it's not a kayak it's not a boat I guess it's a small boat but I do not have a good range of vocabulary to pronounce or to even know what it's called in English but yes yeah, so this is Kamala and the reason, the reason I don't like to show myself a lot is because there's no point in looking at me because the reason why I'm making this video is to show you guys what I'm looking at so I much prefer to show what I'm seeing rather than showing myself in the video so now we're heading towards the beach the beach I guess whereby people swim here I guess a lot of these people are staying probably staying in all these resorts and villas and they just take a, a short walk and relax by the beach it's not deserted but it's definitely not full and I guess it's a mixture of in between which is what I like actually people sleeping in the tents under the hammocks and we have a lot of palm trees or coconut trees here not sure if it's been planted on or naturally was here for thousands of, of years we have a stray dog and this is the beaches people surfing over there not sure if you can see but the waves here are actually okay to surf although I will not try to attempt to surf because I can't surf but I guess they do conduct surfing lesson here I can see yeah we're gonna go further up there but we're gonna inquire about the villa first yeah hopefully the sound is all right even though it's really windy here right now and wind always destroy the audio so sometimes I might try and cover the the wind here with my fingers my hands I'm filming with the GoPro right now because it's really heavy for me to carry the 5D Mark IV <laughs> and it's really tiring me out so the GoPro is the best option even though there's no microphone attachment to it so the wind could be a bit of a problem but yeah if we do get a room here tonight I think I'll be very blessed 
I mean, the other hotel is not bad as well. It's about five minutes away, less than five minutes away to the beach. But this is beachfront. But it could be a little bit noisy because the clubs and all the um, attractive places, the clubs and the, the party areas are all next to it. So it could be we could face into uh, potential noise issues at night. Because for me, I like to sleep early and because I like to wake up early. Even though I'm on holidays, I don't only I do not like to party and stuff. I like to sleep early because it is my one of my principles in life or a philosophy in life that is to wake up early to be successful which is I don't know maybe proven or not proven but I don't know just the idea is that I like to wake up early and that's all so we're strolling around the Rivu, I guess Trying to explore what's here in Kamala Beach Another dining area Which is called Not sure if you can see but Biski Bar and Restaurant So these are all the shop houses stuff and we have swimwear we have clothes we have currency exchange areas and we even have the tour the tour place whereby you can book your tour to Kriti Island or to Bamboo Island as you can see this is the Merlin Divers Kamala Diving Center if you want to do some dive here another apartment or hotel bonsai restaurant over there I kind of like this street a lot it looks amazing I'm having problem with my GoPro here right now I can't see the screen oh yeah it's back on yeah so as I was saying this is a Kamala diving center if you want to dive here I look it up online I think it's about four hundred dollars US dollars we have boutiques not really boutiques but tailor gifts and souvenir shop let's see what they sell here let's try across the road without getting killed postcards Oh, it looks nice as well. Phuket's postcard. What else have we got here? Oh, can't really turn this thing. More postcard. James Bond Island. I think that's where we're going to next. Oh, this is a nice beach. See what we got in here. Shades 490 baht. More shades. Swiss Army knife. Belts. Got stuff like this. Kids' clothes, tie. Not sure why would you sell a tie here? Watches. I love mustache. Patong so. Patong. Yeah, very. Patong big. no tsunami. Very big tsunami. Very big tsunami. <laughs> now it's so many people. Very busy. Ah, yeah, patong a lot, a lot of people. Uh, kata? Kata garam, so like this. Kata quiet. Karong, quiet, yes, uh. quiet. Like this, same. The other side, the coconut island side, not many people. Yes, same. 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 Only in the patong, only many people. Mm. In Phuket, yeah. Patong, so pat, patong, the most famous. Yes. 
everything there. Everything here. A lot. Yeah. Okay, thank you. See you are here. Until Wednesday. 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 Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. So if you have just heard, those are one of the few conversations that I managed to capture on film. And because as soon as I started filming stuff, they they wouldn't want to have a conversation with me. But I was being very discreet just now, and I got lucky. It is actually better than I thought because it's not raining actually it is even better now the sky is starting to clear up a little bit which is nice and I, I think I want to do some photography street photography here in in this area because it looks really nice but as I was ha having a conversation with the guy in the store just now what he, what he said was that there's not a lot of, a lot of people here in um, Kamala Beach compared to compared to um, Kata Beach, Karon Beach. That's where the attractions or a lot of tourists normally go there because there's a lot of attractions there. But here's a bit quiet. Halal food, Laya Lina Hotel. I like me some halal food. La Yalina Hotel Halal food Interesting Well, it's not that difficult to find halal food here if you're a Muslim In Phuket It used to be difficult That's what I read online But now it's even better Because we have immigrants from Indonesia Malaysia coming in To set up their stalls here So it's really help, helping the community a lot Because there's a lot of Muslim people in Phuket as well which is interesting to learn see I wouldn't know this kind of stuff if I've not been here and interact with the local people most of which I do not film because they, as soon as I turn on the, the camera they get really hesitant to communicate with me so I'm back again trying to do some photography but this time around I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap some photograph of the litter and stuff 